We're live. All right. Hey, it's uh, Posh Music Works in the round tonight, and we're excited to have a bunch of different performers coming from all over the country. Uh, so, some have been on before. Some you'll be familiar with if you're followers of the Moccasin Creek uh, thing or the the uh, Summer Sundown thing. People like Charlie Roth and Greg Klima. Um, some uh, folks I knew about. One one guy that I knew about. Uh, uh, Mr. John Lankford was uh, sort of a, uh, in my world, at least uh, an infamous uh, Americana character. Also, Dana Anderson will be here, Heather, Heather Sticka, uh, Ryan Anderson, and uh, Mary Badiata, Little Pink, all the way from Baltimore, Maryland. And we have the Flying A's from Austin, Texas. That's Stuart and Hillary Adamson, people that I've known for 20 years and haven't seen in probably 10 or 5, I don't know, been a long time. I'm going to kick off with a, with a quick song. Just to get things started and let let some uh, audience build up while before we get the first artist on, and um, I'm going to do a, a short one. I've been in the garden today and uh, been been out in the yard quite a bit. This is a song, the 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 oldest song that I wrote that I know. So it's the very first song that I really wrote that I remember. There probably were some before this, but uh, this one this one survived. I'm staring out uh, across the field and there's a. My dad's old garden out there that I garden now. That's where my dad used to grow the asparagus and the tomatoes and the peppers and all that stuff. Well, the only thing worse than cold mashed potatoes is no mashed potatoes at all. So if you're cursed with no mashed potatoes, just give my daddy a call. You can eat all the feet. You can eat all the fish you catch unless you don't catch any at all. And if you think not any, isn't very many, just give my daddy a call. And if you like big watermelons and fruits so big they look like a swallow, I hope you'll hear the words I'm telling you. Give my daddy a call. If you've got a country pilot or if you need seafood salad, I hope you'll eat my homegrown pilot. Give my daddy a call. I wrote this song for my dad's organic farm market. I knew it was going to be a long and difficult road in songwriting when my own father refused to use a song I'd written for him as a commercial for free. But I wasn't wrong about that, folks. It has been a long and the time is difficult road in songwriting for me. But I finished the song to suit my own purposes. This is how it winds up right here. Well, asparagus will make your peace smell funny, and that's not funny at all. But I'm telling you, honey, if you don't mind money, just give my daddy a call. He's got a store with style come down behind the ball. He got a one square mile compost pile, so give my daddy a call. And if you like big water bells, a fruit so big they look like swallows, I hope you'll hear the words I'm telling you. To give my daddy a call. You can get all the food. Jewish boy, right down the pastor's farm and fish store. It don't matter if you're rich or dirt poor. Give my daddy a call. I say, give my daddy a call. You know, it's three, four, two, five, eight, one. It's fish and vegetables, the fruit's so great. You don't even ought to hesitate. Just give my daddy a call. I say, give my daddy a call. I say, give my daddy Hey, daddy! Hey, daddy! Give my daddy a call. All right, that's the old, hey, daddy. You may have my cassette tape that I made in uh, 1996, and if you do, then you have that song. All right, there's Charlie Roth. Hey, how you doing, Charlie? Hey, Bill. I got my Moccasin Creek Festival shirt on. All right, I got my Wonder Down Music Festival shirt on from year one. This is the yurt shirt. Remember that? Yurt shirt. <laughs> All right. <laughs> how are you? I'm, I'm well. Yeah. Are you? Are you? Are you calling in from Foley? Yeah, outside of Foley, where uh, I went to the store and got some lumber to fix up an old hay wagon. So I, I could use your help if you want to. No, don't come. <laughs> I'll be right there. Yeah, no problem. About ten hour drive. Yeah. Hey, uh, your your guests tonight are, are old friends of mine, uh, Stuart and Hillary Adamson from Austin, Texas. They're I've been the, knowing them a long time. Yeah. And, and uh, I didn't know them when you gave me my first gig in Austin, Texas. Oh, is that right? Yeah, I, that was way before I met them. I met them at I met them uh, playing with Butch Morgan at the Continental Club, and uh, 
Casper Alls, and they were they had just recorded one of Butch's songs, and they, so right. Butch, we met then. So. Oh, very cool. Yeah, I, I can't remember where I met them, but probably maybe at Arch Rib House or someplace. Uh, but that was the place that I certainly saw them. Uh, in any case, but I'm going to bring them on right now. Cool. Oh wait, I did it wrong. Well, hey, Bill. Hey, you guys. <laughs> hey. I took him out instead of bringing you on. So, hey. <laughs> welcome to welcome to Posh Music Works in the round. Uh, this is sort of a Moccasin Creek Festival vehicle, and uh, you guys would love Moccasin Creek Festival. We get you up there sometime. Yeah, uh, it takes place in June. We're on we're we're on standby right now. We're not sure if it's going to happen this year, but we sure hope so. But I'm so glad that you're able to join us for a virtual open mic because this is my normal night for open mic in town. And so it's really fun for me to be able to have the open mic with all my friends from all over the country. So. Yeah. yeah, we're so jazzed to be here. And it's so great to see both of you guys, two people we absolutely <laughs> adore. It's awesome. It's great to see you. I can't wait to hear you. I'm going to I'm gonna get out of the way so you guys get started here, okay? Oh, cool. Yeah, sounds good. These are the flying A's, folks, all the way from Austin, Texas. And this is, of course, Charlie Roth. You all know Charlie Roth. Hey, Charlie. Hey, y'all. Hey, you guys are, you're gorgeous. Did you know that? <laughs> well, thank you. Hillary, thank you. Hillary's, Hillary's working on it, but I've been working especially. Yeah, I, I could know. I haven't showered in like two weeks, so I'm glad, it, I'm glad the glisten is working itself out. Yeah. Well, you know, I like Stuart with the long hair. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right. Play a song. Okay, we're going to go first. Let's do that. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm. I'm. Uh, I have drove all night uh, from Austin, Texas. I played with John Enman at the Mar- El Mercado, and I think I had lunch with you guys uh, that night. And anyway, so here I am. Uh, I'm going to the Moccasin Creek Festival. I had no time to get there because I had to stay in Austin one more day, and to sing this song for uh, Bill and JJ's wedding. And I was there, so I had to, I want to play uh, Grandpa's Little Girl. This is JJ's request. As they were walking down the aisle. I was... That sure is a pretty cloud. Not half as pretty as your smile. Wonder why they call them weeds. We could blow away the whole seas. Watch them on the wind wide. Hey, what's that? Looks like you found a feather. And it's from a baby bird. Here's a little song we sing together. It's the sweetest one these ears have heard. Grandpa's little girl. Grandpa's little girl. With her hand around my shoes. You show him Bet you never seen a spider. There's a daddy long legs in the tree. He's walking on his way, jumping on his bed. He's like he's got a little friends. We can watch the inside and stand I can push you on the swing. Hey, from our open tire, you say let's go high. That's when you start getting Grandpa, little girl. Grandpa's little girl. With her hand around my finger, she's wrapping me around her little finger. Glad she was a pretty good guy. Church is full of flowers. And I recall the hours as I walk you, walk you down the aisle. You were Grandpa's little girl. Grandpa's little girl. With your hand around my finger, wrapping me around your little finger. Put a golden band.
watching JJ and Bill dance. I got a little choked up, I have to say. <laughs> it was that was really sweet. I liked that. Yeah. I'm so happy for my buddy Bill because he got good lady. Um so I'm working on learning some friends' songs. So I'm gonna finally I hope during this set you're gonna do your um monopoly song. No that song. Are you gonna do it? No. No, oh, I don't have that song. I, I remember teaching it to you. I said, please do this song, Hillary. Record uh, my song. She loves it. I'm going to learn it. That's my thing. I'm going to learn that. If now, I'm gonna that we're, get... now that we're stuck at home and can't go anywhere, and uh, we have way more free time on our hands. So that's the first um, tough song I want to learn, all those fancy bar chords. <laughs> it's a pretty good song, really. Four chords. Oh, I love it. I love it. Yeah, I remember it's got a cool groove to it. Yeah. All right, what you got, baby? I was thinking about doing a, another love song. Sure. So here we go. Thirty thousand feet above the forest. Wondering if there's any love that forest find always gets me down. Putting so many miles between us, this time all the way to Phoenix. One more night, but one more lonesome town. I can't shake the words you told me when I just needed you to hold me with the painful things you took me to say. Now I'm trapped in a seat that won't recline, and I can't shake from my mind. I wish that I was lying and not dead. We started out singing things to get everything so loud and things to go out of love. And we're honeymoon at the So now with all the dreams we chased and all the truth we found first. Now we reach the moon where no one needs to win. Cause I've got a feeling that's where real love is. to me to touch me down, feed me back on solid ground, and I'd say all the things I need. I'll reach out across the line and give my heart one more time if you say yes to me now. You're starting it out free and easy every day, so I'm free to fly to and the honeymoon had to end. So now with all the dreams we chased and all the truth we had faced, have we reached a point where no one needs to win? Because I got the feeling that's where we will love. Yeah, I got the feeling that's where we will love. talk about the moccasin creek festival i've been there six years in a row and i've kind of the designated myself i designated myself the camp 
music director because it wasn't like Kerrville when I got there and my vowed to make everybody sit in the, their own places and then say, okay, now you sing and everybody shut up or like the Jack Hardy. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, organizing them. Shut up and sing the song, you know. Anyway, <laughs> but I, but but it, it's getting there and uh, it's a great place to go camp. So if anybody, all the camp and get you, this year's is the campground is going to be, and you guys, if you're, you're just get in a truck and come, you know, because you'll <laughs> camp right next to, and we'll, we'll have music, you know. And, well, that sounds amazing. Actually, we, um, in June, we're supposed to be in New Zealand and then um, United Kingdom and Europe and all that's been canceled. So actually we got time in June for a road trip. <laughs> Maybe for me, right next to each other, right? So anyway, um, I'm gonna play a song I wrote at uh, at Moccasin Creek. It was uh, I met this girl and I there they were camped uh, in the main campground and I and I stumbled on I you know anyway I asked what this little girl's name was and she said her name was Serenity that was she was named after a prayer. Now if you're a songwriter and you don't get your pen out right. <laughs> so I had a 10-hour drive home to write this, and um, so this is uh, uh, this is uh, Serenity. Rainbow face painted child, having fun in summer sun, running wild. Got her mother's grace, her father's eyes, great big chocolate smile for a little while. Her daddy is a good man, he's a friend of mine, living one paycheck away from a cardboard sign. There's some things in his life he can't change, life in a bottle, it gets a little strange. And I asked her what her name is, and she said, Serenity. And her daddy named her after a prayer. He prayed that first morning, made their camp at the music fair. And I said, Serenity. My, that sure is a pretty name. Walking on the shady side of a river of grief and tears you just can't hide from. And if the game of life has kicked your ass, your only comfort your mind is over ice cubes in a glass. And you just might be the most negative person in the room. Cause all you know is loneliness and blue And you think they might be talking bad about you So you start talking smack about them too Now you're cursing that color Cause all you see is darkness in your world Well I hope you meet a rainbow face painted little girl If you ask her what her name is, she says serenity. If her daddy named her after a prayer, give me praying that prayer this morning, made their camp at the music fair. If you meet serenity, you say hello for me. I think serenity sure is a pretty name. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Thank you. So cool. I just love it. Yeah. Yeah. 
love your uh, love your guitar playing, your singing, and your songs. oh, your songwriting. My We're such Charlie You're Ross just a powerhouse. <laughs> we love you. We love you. And when we've gotten to sing with you and tour with you, it's always a blast. We we did uh, we did a few shows up in Minnesota, and they were all kind. Of cobbled together this tour and it, it it became a really cool thing by the end of it i was thinking man we'd make one hell of a band wouldn't it <laughs> i know I well, let's that. make we it happen again soon oh my goodness let's do it let's do it <laughs> all right what are you gonna do Hill? um let's do little miss tumbleweed this is a song um i'm actually originally my family's from minnesota so I've got that connection big time. Um, but I've been in Texas since I was five. I grew up in the hill country right here in Austin, Texas. And um, when I turned 18, I moved to the flat land of the Panhandle. And this song is from our, um, not our latest album. We had one come out in February, but the one just before that. It's a little song called Little Miss Tumbleweed. It's about my first solo drive through West Texas and a run-in with an honest-to-goodness tumbleweed the size of a Volkswagen. Inspired this one. So here you go. Two, one, two, That's Little Miss Tumbleweed. Hey, uh, you got that one about the farm uh, dialed up later? Oh, yeah, sure. You got it. This dirt. We'll do it for sure. That's my favorite one. Hey, uh, okay, I'm, I've got this song that's kind of goofy. Yeah. <laughs> I played it for Bill the other day. It was a, It's a work in progress, but uh, and it's about a, a toilet paper. paper for profiteer. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Can you hear that? Even though I run 
run and hit. I come down with the COVID. Me and my brother David. Moving boxes to Charmin. To a shed we build out back. Gonna sell it on the internet. Yeah, we thought we'd be real smart. Cleared the shelves out at Walmart. So we got us a website. Selling boxes a butt wipe. <laughs> Took a second mortgage out on the house. Well, that didn't sit too well with my spouse. She left me and she took the truck. Another case of bad luck. She took the dog and she took the kid. And left me here with the COVID. So please buy my Charmin. Hey man, come on, give me a shout. Hell, there ain't any harm in it. Come on, won't you help a brother out? It's soft and it's two ply. Mr. Whipple says so. And it's ever so squeezable. Mr. Whipple should know. So please buy my Charmin. Hey man, give me a shout. Well, there ain't any harm in it. Come on, help a brother out. It's soft and it's too ply. Mr. Whipple says so. And it's ever so squeezable. Mr. Whipple should know, and it's ever so squeezable. Mr. Whipple should know. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Uh, I went to Walmart yesterday, and uh, and they did not have any toilet paper at all. But. No kidding. I, just, I didn't go there for toilet paper, fortunately, but I said, you know what? I might as well swing by and just take a look, and they did. <laughs> Man, they're all restocked up here. You know, you know the guy that has a, a warehouse full, of, that was my fantasy that he was. But <laughs> the COVID from moving the boxes for, you know, <laughs> from Charmin. You know. But anyway. Uh, I'll be honest, like, I'm a sucker for two and three ply. Three ply. <laughs> I'll be well, honest. <laughs> I didn't know there was three ply. I used one ply for a really long time. Just right. recently, we've upgraded to two ply. And, uh, yeah, that was then yeah. You it ate spam. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I grew up with spam. My family farm is in Byron, Minnesota, just wow. up the road from Austin, Minnesota, which a lot of those Minnesotans and Illinoisans out there. Know that that is the spam capital of the world. Big, Not yep. too far from my family farm. So pretty mm -hmm. cool. Well, should we do a. Uh, let's do a honky tonk. So. Oh, well, let's do a little honky tonk. All right, for all you dancers out there. Love it. Ought to have a party. Follow the head of the spam. Because everybody is. So terrible the way we do. I'm gonna have my heart beat. Falling in love with my crazy heart. It's a big part. It's broken. It's easy to see. Two with a candle to. But my heart don't be bright. It's the middle of the night. I'm gonna have my heart. Because everybody in this hotel knows the way you did. I'm gonna have my heart in the sand. I'm running in love with my crazy 
I'm going to do a song that I wrote at your house. There you go. Yay. This is, um, I was down there, Stan, uh, and I think, wasn't Kerrville going on? I can't remember when I was there. No, I was working on my album. And, yeah, that's right. And, and you guys were head off to work and, and you know, teaching, uh, and I had the house to myself. And I wrote this song uh, in your guest room. Uh, and then moved to the kitchen table. And then the first person I played it for was Chuck Hawthorne. And he said, man, I like that. So anyway, this is stuff. It's advice to myself. I ended up putting this on the album, I'm the Smile, and, and uh, recording it in Austin, Texas, too. So... Yesterday is the sea, the cradle of today. Today is the birth, the heart of tomorrow. Tomorrow is the start, the soul of forever. Don't let anyone or yourself say never. Don't let anyone or yourself say never. I best be on my path to glory, remembering not to forget my story. December is a long way home. December is a long way home. Myself a dirty lie, and I believed it for a good long while. If you let it, your dream will die. Without that water, it'll shrivel on the vine. Without that water, it'll shrivel on the vine. Yesterday is the sea, the cradle of today. Today is a birth, the heart of tomorrow. Tomorrow is a start, the soul of forever. Don't let anyone yourself say never. 
don't let anyone So the way this is set up, we when we can hear you through our headphones, um, but when we sing, we can't hear ourselves. So it's strange. <laughs> yeah, we're so taking probably... our headphones off when we're performing it's because we sound a lot better when we can hear ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna take these off. Got one on. Uh, yeah. Now we can't hear you though. Yeah, initially I was initially I was doing this, but singing it feels it's better it's just really to have really hard. Yeah. So um this is a song that's on the new album and it's called Faith in Gasoline. It's a song about finding hope. I was born actually um on the Mississippi River up in Minnesota. And when I was five, my dad moved me down to uh the Colorado River right here in Austin, Texas. And multiple times in my lives when I've had the most um, meaningful growth opportunities, I will find myself always on the bank of a river. It's where I, I can find my peace, I can find my faith, and um, that's what inspired this song. <laughs> The world's got me turned around. What was right and wrong is now outside. Yeah. Running on sleeping gasoline. I never knew this world would be so mean. If there's peace in this river, won't you wash over me? Cause I'll be back to this river and I won't have me. If there's life in this world, won't you come me? Cause I'm scared of this dark and I won't have I've been praying so hard this soul might be But then I'm getting sick and tired living on the earth I pray for mercy, I pray for grace To sit at night, sleep in a little more if there's light in this world, won't you call on me? Because I'm of this dark and I want to Thank you. 
That's so great, Hill. That's like you know that our farm. Uh, you've been here, yeah. And it's on. It's six miles away from the Mississippi River. And uh, two hour, no, two and a half hours north of us is where it starts in like like a like a Tasca, which is one of the most beautiful places to go if you get up to northern Minnesota. You just take your breath away. Anyway, I'm going to do uh, a, a new one here. This is a song. I, I was doing a Kickstarter campaign, and a guy wanted me to change the words to Gramp, Grandpa's Little Girl to Grandma's Little Boy so he could dance with his grandmother at his wedding. And she sa he said he – and I, I tried to do it, but I couldn't, you know. So I just wrote him a whole new song, and I wrote this. I wrote this in uh, my my grandmother's house, which is uh, my brother lives there now. But um, he died when I was fourteen, and I just remember going over there and eating peanut butter cookies, and you know. <laughs> You're making cookies in the kitchen. At your feet with my toys From your hand something sweeter Licking batter from the beater You dressed me for the school bus In my press shirt and corduroys Back then it was just the two of us when I was your little boy You were the center of my world then I was the apple of your eyes then I played all of your heartstrings You kissed my boo-boos and my beast Way back When I was your little boy But I am a grown man now I'll take this woman for my wife She is the center of my world now You're still the center of my life No matter where I go or how far you be my compass and my guiding star Held so closely in my memory Cause I belong to you I'll always be your good boy No matter where I go or how far You be my compass and my guiding star Held so closely in my memory Cause I belong to you I'll always be your boy You 
You're making cookies in the kitchen. And at your feet with my toys. Yeah. Oh, Charlie, I love it. As always. Thank you. Yeah. We might if have ever, to... If I ever make another record, uh, that's going to be on it, you know. Yeah, that's beautiful. My grandma sounds a lot like my grandma Tompkins from the Tompkins Farm in Byron, only she uh, made 101 cookies. What's 101 that? cookies. You know, I'm not really sure. They had Rice Krispies in them and probably some oatmeal. And, oh, my gosh. they're so. I got to get my Aunt Kay to send me the recipe. It, oh, I'll make you some next time we're up in Minnesota. <laughs> oh, man. Yes. So uh, you wanted this dirt. This is a song inspired by um, my family farm, actually. There's quite a few things on it. Too. Oh, easier to hear when I'm, I, that song's so strange. It's so much easier to hear when I don't have the headphones. <laughs> They say there's dirt in my backyard. It has black gold. Found generations now make it as our own. We fed towns miles around. In hard times, it was place. Our neighbors came to pay for rain. Our school grapes. We've always done the best to make this nation proud. We've always spoken like a friend Honest how we go With honest hands We have worked for land And we just took our home We'll stand up for our rights And keep it coming Won't back down My friend that surely would Be turned in over into and you do this world and the Mars is ever too It's hard to find a push man for the claim that it did remain. Come hell or high water, they'll surely know our names. They've always done their best to make this nation proud. We've always spoken like a plan. On this whole ground, with honest hands, we have worked for land and we just heard our hope. We'll stand up on our rights and keep it coming. Won't back down. No, we won't back down. They say, will it have to change the time? The man's go up his place. There's family land like ours, you know, no money can replace. So if they try to cross this line, a fence we call our own. Keep that breath is all they'll get. Take our hopes. They've always done our best to make this nation proud. We've always loved the fire of fire on this whole ground. With honest hands, we have worked for land and we disturb our home. We'll stand up for our rights and keep it coming. This land is worth the fight. Let's keep it coming. We won't back down. We don't back down. We don't back down. We don't back down. So, uh, yeah, we got like seven minutes or something like that, right? Oh, my gosh. So maybe one or one, or one, uh, one song each, I guess. All right, we'll like, take it. Okay, well, uh, I'm going to do, uh, do a song I wrote, uh, another thing that ties me to Austin, Texas. 
and uh, wrote this song. Uh, started at Butch Morgan's house, and we were going to a songwriter night in San Antonio, and and he said, "You got to write a song today." And I went, "Why?" <laughs> 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 anyway, uh, I. I wrote this and I and then went to the songwriter thing and and people make suggestions and then uh, you know so this is um I, I Bev called me and she there was a blizzard moving in Minnesota and there was an ice storm in Austin Texas so uh, uh, we had a gig with John Inman and Lazarus Nichols and I had a gig at the Little Longhorn Saloon. and this is. Um, on my chair. My wife takes care of 45 horses. So me being gone during a blizzard is not good. Luckily it went south of us. All the queen's horses dance wild in the snow. Best plug on the tractor for the big blow High winds in 10 inches Says a DJ in town There's no sense to shovel Till it all settles down Smell the soup from the kitchen Like love in the air She's in her slippers She ain't going White light from the lamp, blue glow from the screen. She's got a cat in her lap, a two more by her feet. Wish I was there, back in my chair. I wish I could find that place in my mind. I'd be already there. Wish I could see her looking at me in that terry cloth robe and no silky bed clothes that she wears. I'm in my chair. Little Longhorn Saloon, home of chicken shit bingo. <laughs> So we we were playing for the tip jar and fifty bucks. That's Austin money, and uh, hardly anybody showed up because of the ice storm. Here I was playing with one of the best guitar players in the world. I didn't care how much money I made. <laughs> Play with John Inman all night. When it sleets here in Austin. Everything shuts down. Those flyways are frosted. There's no one around. My tip jar was empty. My guitar string broke. It was dead at the Longhorn. It was slow at the spoke. Well, now down here in Texas, we had a pretty good run. After two weeks of couch surfing, it ain't too much fun. Now it's two days headed north, windshield time when my wheels cross at Minnesota State Line. I will be there, back in my chair. Wish I could find. Place in my mind, I'd be already there. I wish I could see her looking at me in that terry cloth robe and those silky bed clothes that you wear.
Yeah. Thanks. So I believe I would. <laughs> we got time for one more. Yeah, huh? that's, that's what I was going to ask. Is there time for one more? I think I think it's time to roll. I think it's on to the yes. next band. One more. Hey, yeah. All right. Hey, ladies okay. and gentlemen, this is Charlie Rock and the Flying A's. Uh, Charlie from Foley, not just outside of Foley, Minnesota, in the Flying A's in Austin, Texas. You got to do one more song, and then we'll have uh, Mary Badiata and Greg Kleima coming in from Baltimore and Boston. Well, cool. Thanks again, Bill, and to the Moxie Creek Festival and to Charlie Roth for thinking of us to do this song swap with you. Um, this will be a quickie. Which one are we doing? Uh, let's do, we can do Weekends Made for Living. That one's fast. All right. Here we go. I think the new weekend should start on Wednesday. Oh. Oh, here we go. Take a stack full with my buddies. The ass just packed. The road is muddy and sunny. It's time that river's gone my pain. Swear I smell catfish jump. Morning air is my heart does Sing along, there's all that we know. We can burn the neighborhood, fucking the neighborhood's fine, dancing, watching those flowers, taking it all the time. Just be careful, I can't say nothing, but it's not a song. Give it all this man, we can't find a name for the I can hear those captains popping in the frying pan. There's no stopping that holy track away with these two people long. Me and my buddy stand out of view, sitting by the fire, chewing the chew. There's the wash, can't go wrong. guys it always feels like thank y'all be sure and tip uh bill and and he needs he needs to keep going here and continue his good work so i uh, thank everybody thank you very much charlie i appreciate that thanks thanks you guys for your talents it's, it feels like wham bam thank you man but i got i got a, a couple more waiting in the wings here no, no. We, we totally understand it's great to see you We're thank just you so excited. much thank you it's great to see you too y'all take care <laughs> Said. Come see us when it, when it all changes. We you got it. We'll do it. You got <laughs> it. Love you guys. Trying to figure out who's where. All right. So I'm Bill Poss. I'm the host. This is uh, Poss Music Works in the round. And I'm going to bring on Mary Badiata and Greg Klima in just a second. I want to say uh, if you want to make a donation, I don't have one of those fancy uh, hashtags or anything. You can just uh, you can PayPal money uh, to Posh Music Works. The address is snake at moccasincreekfestival.com. It's snake at moccasincreekfestival.com. And I will tell you, I don't, I'm not asking you to give me money, but if you want to help support this particular thing we're doing, 
this software uh, pro or this program that I signed up for cost about five hundred dollars to for a year, and that's what I'm using for the split bill interviews, and that's what I'm using for these live streams. And so, uh, so if you'd like to help support that, you can send ten bucks, twenty bucks. Uh, that'd be great. If you can send five hundred bucks, then I'll just tell everyone to stop sending money. But uh, right now, I got Greg Clima. I got Mary Bobby Otta. Hey. Yeah, hey, I think it is. Let's see. Hey, 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 hey,
No, no, I'm at, I'm I'm from Maryland, but I live in um Ar in Arlington, Virginia, Northern Virginia. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, I got that wrong. No, okay. I'm right over, I'm right over the river, but I I I recorded my last record in Baltimore. Oh, okay, yeah. very good. Yeah, I guess I guess I met you through Jim Patton and Sherry Brokus, and so maybe that's how I that's how I uh, associate with. Yeah, Maryland. and then yeah. I have Greg Plymouth from Arling Arlington. Arlington, Mass. Yeah, <laughs> Arlington, New Orleans. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I should have found somebody from Arlington, Texas. We could have had a. a I know. Is there an Arlington in Illinois, Bill? Uh, there probably is. I, I never checked. I'll look it up while you're playing. There usually is. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to invite uh, Mary to sing a song. I haven't heard Mary play in, in forever and ever. Uh, oh, and, cool. And so it sounds pretty good from, from what I'm hearing. All right. I've got these uh, headphones here, but I'm going to play. I guess I'm going to play without them. Unless yeah, you can play them as best. Yeah. All right. Well, this is um a little song. I had a request to try and get the guitar in the frame. So uh, you know, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna get out so that you can get a guitar in. How about that? Oh no. Oh, okay. Oh well. All right. I I feel I feel bigger now, but um I miss you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, this is a uh, song called "Things You Say and Don't Say." You say that you aren't married Cause you don't wear a ring You say that you don't drink But a bar's your favorite thing You say you'll call tomorrow But days turn into weeks And that's the thing
Thanks. Well, my my s'more was delicious. <laughs> I got to eat it. To listen to that beautiful song. Yeah. Sad song. Oh. Thank you. Um, so, Greg Klima, you look hey, Bill. You look warm. <laughs> uh, it, I think it was <laughs> in the uh, 30s a lot of today. Got into the 40s for a little while. And wow. uh, getting low on firewood, you know? So I figured an alternative to, to a fire would be layers. Right. Very good. Old Very school, cool. baby. Do you have uh, do you have the ability to turn up your volume at all? Uh, I can do that on here. Does that help you're, you? You're a little on the quiet side. That? Yeah, that sounds better. Well, of course, you How were closer to it, didn't you? Can you hear me now? I can hear you. Yeah. That's yeah. about as good as I can turn up the volume on that. Cool. This is not the device I use for uh, when I did the live streams. I, I go through a program on my computer. I, I plug a microphone into it, and I didn't know how to make that work with StreamYard, so I'm, uh, I'm using an iPad. Man, okay. alive for a guy that's for a guy that's not in, in particularly tech savvy, I have had to do a lot of tech lately. It's <laughs> not my fort. Uh, I know. I know what you mean. Yeah, I'll I'll know a whole lot more months from now. Even it's even the gifts. The, it's one of the gifts of this whole experience. I've I've been thrown into using stuff I've never had to use before. I've learned how to use iMovie. You know, I'm learning about how my Zoom microphone works in uh, in cooperation with my laptop. You know, found out about a thing called Restream. I'm trying. I'm just trying to learn stuff, and I love the kick in the pants to like learn stuff. Cool. Yeah, man. Yeah. You got a song for us? No. <laughs> I, just, I just thought I'd talk. What, what else is on your mind? <laughs> I really liked that lyric in Mary's song, nothing makes things easier than wanting to believe. Man alive. Here's, a, uh, here's something I want to believe. There are six billion, nine hundred ninety-nine million, nine hundred ninety-nine thousand, nine hundred ninety-nine other people who had a day today. There are six billion, nine hundred ninety-nine million, nine hundred ninety-nine thousand, nine hundred ninety-nine. Other people just trying to make their way. Maybe I can be a little kinder. Maybe I just needed a reminder. Six billion, nine hundred ninety-nine million, nine hundred ninety-nine thousand, nine hundred ninety-nine. Other people just getting through their days. Peace and love, I'm not in now. The world is so demanding. Each of us could use just a little understanding six billion nine hundred ninety nine million nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine other people who could use a little grace there are six billion Nine hundred ninety-nine million, nine hundred ninety-nine thousand, nine hundred ninety-nine other people, and you don't know what they face. And we all want 
things to get better because we're all in this together six billion nine hundred ninety nine million nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine other people we had a day today really great greg i was i was uh touring with you right after you wrote that song and you played it and i wanted you to play it every night i was just like this is a song that should be an anthem i mean it's a really great song anybody out there know the dixie chicks i, I really i really <laughs> want them to play it i think i think one they'd sing the hell out of it and two yeah, it's got that it's got that arena anthem thing going on. It's like I want to be at a Dixie Chicks concert. I've never been to one, but I would go to one if they were doing this song. And I want to be out in the crowd like six billion nine hundred. I could just stop. I'm living the dream. I'm putting it out into the universe. Yeah, so it comes back. I I can hear the breakdown for sure. <laughs> just the banjo. Everything cuts out with the banjo. <laughs> D, you're in the dream with me. I love this. This is how it starts, Internet. This is how it starts, Internet. You're watching it. All right. For, what you got up my your song, sleeve there, Bill? What's that? I said, what you got up your sleeve? Oh, uh, I'm going to sing a song I wrote about a month ago. And it's, it's, kind, of, it's kind of developed and grown as I, as I taught it to myself. And... Uh, and that a friend of mine, a friend of mine's wife died, and that got me thinking about this. He, and he lives just really close to me, actually. And uh, by the same railroad tracks that I wait on most days at some point. And uh, his wife died, and it got me thinking. And then, and then we had the COVID uh, coronavirus uh, thing down and shut down the world, and made me really slow down. Made me slow down. Yeah, so <laughs> JJ says it's about time. So this is my uh, my song my song for the pandemic. I don't think she meant that, Greg. <laughs> Greg's like, Not like that. Not like that. All right. <laughs> I'm parked right here in the middle of the road. My hands grip the wheel. My head's about to explode. No one to talk to, nowhere to complain. I'm just stuck here waiting on this forever train. Where's it going? Where's it been? Is it headed home or rolling out again? When it finally makes it to the end of the line. It'll pull into the station right on time. Radio's busted, my phone is dead, and I'm stuck here with me all up in my head. I look in the mirror, stare into my brain, going nowhere waiting on this forever train. Where's it going? Where's it been? Is it headed home or rolling out again? When it finally reaches the end of the line, it'll pull into the station right on time. People in front of me, people in back, rocking their heads to the clickety clack. Separate all together here on Lonesome Lane, counting the cars on this forever train. 
Where's it going? Where's it been? Is it headed home or rolling out again? When it finally reaches the end of the line, it'll pull into the station right on the time. When it finally reaches the end of the line, it'll pull into the station right on time. That's beautiful. Thank you. Thank wow. you. It, it started as a, as a song about anger and ended as a kind of a Zen uh, meditation on time and death. That's gorgeous. Yeah. Well, thank you. It's amazing what can happen uh, when you when you uh, start thinking about your own anger mm. and, and, and in a rational way <laughs> as opposed to a compounding way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's weird being like so stressed out and then also being forced to be so still. It's kind of like you're fighting. You're always, it's weird. But, um, yeah. I, was I find trying, myself going. Was that? I find myself going out in the yard about 20 times a day just finding things to do because I just want to be, you know, motile. Yeah, yeah. A lot. Of, everybody in my neighborhood is walking around. It's like a small town. My neighborhood. Everybody's walking around without masks, and the streets are full of people walking, and nobody's wearing a mask, and it's just like weird. And <laughs> so I haven't found going yeah. out to walk places to be the what I was hoping for. So, but right. Know. But uh, yeah. I have a I have a thirteen acre yard, so it works for me. Oh, a what? Oh. I have a 13 acre yard, so it oh. works for me. <laughs> no, I've been thinking, that's what I've been thinking about. I'm like, this, this, here's the problem. Yeah. Yeah. I was, I was looking at my phone. I was trying to figure out how to share the live stream on, on anyway, whatever. All right. I'm not going to waste time with that. But I, I think I have some people who know this is happening. So anyway, all right. Well, this is um, a song of mine called Seven Stars. One star for the wheel of wonder. Two stars for finding you. Three stars in a hall of mirrors. Four stars to brave the few and five stars. The way you love me, never holding back in six stars, or crazy dreams of me, or like party hats now, seven stars streak across the ocean. I guess they are bound to shine. For someone else I guess things like that Never meant to keep it They shine so bright And disappear They shine so bright And then they disappear Oh, one star for the wheel of wonders, two stars for finding you, three white stars in a field of daisy, four stars tattooed blue, and five stars the holy fire that burned down out every night in six stars. For silver cloud, never polished bright now. Seven stars streak across the ocean. I guess they are bound to shine for someone else. I guess things like that. Never meant for keeping. They 
they shine so bright and disappear. They shine so bright and then disappear. That's a lovely song. Thank you. It's uh yeah this uh, the simplicity of your I mean, it, the plain the plaintive nature of your poetry is is really is really uh, I was talking to Mary Goche yesterday uh, on my Splitville radio show or interview show and that was that was the same thing I said to her it was the same thing is true of that song I think it's just that very pla very plaintive uh, sense of the poetry there is is very uh, effective I think Thanks. I love it. Mm -hmm. hmm? Sorry, a lot going on behind me. <laughs> I got nothing going on behind me. Yeah, uh, Greg, I feel for you so much. You, Greg's been alone in his house for what four weeks now? Uh, Thirty-seven days, I think it is. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's almost biblical. Quarantine, you know, you know the word quarantine uh, derives from the Italian for forty days, quaranta giorno. And uh, I'm, I'm coming up on 40. Wow. Feeling quite biblical about this coronavirus business. I bet. Yeah, I know it can't be easy. Uh, you know, I, 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 saw some, I saw some stuff guff on the, uh, on the Facebook the other day. Like, you know, somebody was referring to, like, you know, all these lockdowns and orders from governors as tyranny. You know, like tyranny is cruel and oppressive government or rule. Our governments are asking us to stay home for our own safety, to sit on our comfortable couches and watch TV and use the internet. And we've got electricity and running water in our homes. It's like, this is not cruel nor oppressive anything. Please, with the cruelty yeah. and the oppression, you want cruelty and oppression, you need you need to look at some of the stuff that goes on in other parts of the world. This isn't tyrannical. It's logical, sensible, practical, historically informed self-care. <laughs> you know? So. Yeah. Well, I'm going to give Greg, yeah, I've given you a hug. have plenty of time to think about that. I'm giving you a hug. <laughs> uh, there, there were... There was a lyric in Mary's last song. You know how these writers in the round, you hear something in the previous song and you think to yourself, oh man, I want to jump off of that. But uh, right before you played that, we were having that other conversation about people in your neighborhood not wearing their masks and stuff. And that got me thinking about this song from my fake songs album, which is available on Bandcamp. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give something a go here called Don't Get Sick. <laughs> get sick that's a pretty good trick no fun being sick anyway don't get ill you can't afford the bill no one want to be ill any day it's a rough hand you've been dealt if you ain't got your health, one thing to do that's tried and true and guaranteed to help. Don't get sick. Hey, you find out pretty darn quick. No fun being sick anyway. Don't get dead. That's what my grandma always said. She gave all she had to give. Yeah, the cost of living is high and you're barely scraping by. Now your insurance spell a call to tell you can't afford to die. So don't get sick 
Hey, you find out pretty darn quick. No fun being sick any day. Don't get sick. Yeah, your 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 songs your songs have been like service announcements, Greg. <laughs> I, I I come from the minstrel background, you know. You get the word over here, and you travel down the road, and you take the word over there, uh, but you make it rhyme. <laughs> I have I have requests for both of you. Oh, cool! I'm glad to hear. I don't know if the mic will fit. <laughs> um. Well, you, Bill, this is like crazy because this is like the first song of yours I think I ever heard, and um, but it's called Butterfly. But you, I, do you even play it anymore? Well, I don't. I can try it. Uh, but anyway, I just love that song. I was telling somebody yeah. about. It. I, there, a, a, young, a woman, a woman who comes to my open mic, um, found my record in a used in a used record store for a dollar or something, and she bought it. And she found that song on there, and she decided she liked it. And so, uh, so that's that. That was what caused me to kind of, kind of remember how it goes. But I'm sure I'll mess it up, but I'll try. I'll do my best. Okay. It's off my first record. Also off my only one and only cassette tape that I made. I was walking down the road like I always done before. Nope, can't do it. Sorry. No problem. Is that enough? Is that enough to satisfy your request? Yeah, it was. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, that song would have been fairly new when I when you and I met a long time ago. I know, so, right? I know. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. I thought I knew it, but no, uh, no, 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 no. I. Yeah. I got songs I can. I get songs I can do a lot better than that. I guess. Yeah. Good. All right. I want to hear them. So. Well, this is uh, this is my grandparents' house. Uh, that my my father grew up in, and I grew up about a hundred yards that way. And my mother's house is across the field there, and uh, my great grandpa's house is right over there. And um, when I was uh, I was visiting my uncle in the hospital, he was he was young. He was fifty two years old, but he was dying of cancer. And uh, he was my favorite, one of my favorite relatives, and I spent a lot of time with him. He told me the story about growing up in this house, and my dad. Uh, went to college, and he was left in the house with my my grandparents. And my my grandparents were great. My mother, my grandmother was a saint. My grandfather was a very ambitious uh, businessman. He started uh, dirt 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 for went to seventh grade, went to work for the railroad, got into the lumber yards and stuff. Anyway, uh, he used to drink way too much. Sometimes he worked really hard, and then he'd drink for two weeks or something. You know. And uh, he made a lot of money. And uh, my uncle told me that my grandpa was out on a drunk one time and he didn't know what to do. He was worried. My dad was off of college. And so he uh, he took his 410 shotgun and he loaded it and put it in front, put it in front of the uh, blue spruce. It's right in front of our house. It's still there. It's dying now. It has that spruce illness. But uh, I told the story to Slade, please. And uh, Slade... Uh, said we should write a song about it. So uh, so basically I wrote the song and Slade kind of edited it. But uh, but anyway, this is how it came out. I grew up at Crossroads, the Illinois Central Line. Late at night, you hear the whistle blow. Sometimes after midnight, my daddy'd stumble in. Voices started rising from the hole. My daddy had some money. He owned the grain and feed. He was a well-respected man. But he drank too much whiskey, more than any man should be. He came home with an empty heart and a heavy hand. The rich man hears the whistle blow and he hears the sound of money. My mother hears a train that took her baby away. The young man hears a long slow ride to a land of milk and honey. And the sound of his mama crying in the kitchen as the train rolled away. 
It was the coldest night of dawn when I heard the front door slam. I knew he was looking for a fight. In my bed, my age trembling in hatred and in fear. In the darkness, barely touched by the morning light. Through the house he rumbled and through the house he roared. Nowhere to hide, nowhere to run. When my mama hit the floor, I swore that it would end. And I set my mind on the barrel of his gun. A rich man hears a whistle blow and he hears the sound of money. My mother hears a train that took her baby away. A young man hears a long, slow ride to the land of milk and honey. And the sound of his mama crying in the kitchen as the train rolled away. Now there's a shotgun in a boxcar and a freight train headed west. Behind an old car rolling south. Many are the miles in my future that I see. No more fear inside my mother's house. We once lived in fear together. Now we're safe but all alone. And I swear at night and I can hear my mama cry. As the trains keep rolling and the whistles keep blowing at that crossroads on the Illinois Central Line. The rich man hears the whistle blow and it sounds just like money. Mother hears a train that took her baby away. A young man hears a long slow ride to a man who built money. To the sound of his mama crying in the kitchen as the train rolled away. I hear the sound of a long troll thing to pound for that. Easy for me to say. The sound of my mama crying in the kitchen. As the train. Lady. Thank you. It's beautiful. Thank you. So, uh, so Colin, it was, back before uh, gun violence was such a crazy thing in this country, it, it uh, made a lot of sense to me. But some people don't like it. But I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like the gun violence, but I like the song. Yeah, it's a really good song. Thank you. Uh, so, so yeah. So this is the house where, where it was written about, and we're you know. We, it's weird to live with it, you know? Yeah. I never dreamed I would live in this house when I wrote the song. I think it's cool. Yeah. Some ghosts, there's ghosts hanging around here. Yeah. So, uh, so what do you have out there in Arlington, Virginia for us? Oh, okay. Um, well, I got this one. I have a, I cut, I have a, Two songs that would directly come off that one, but I'm gonna do this one instead because I'm not sure I can do those other ones. But I need to get those back, other ones back in my head. But those are train songs. But all right, this is a song called um, "Tall Timbers," and um, I there's a I'm near the Potomac River, which goes out into the Chesapeake Bay. Out there, there's a little tiny little town called Tall Timbers where they used to cut the the big oak trees down. The big you know, they had the, that was the first forest out there. They'd cut those trees down for the masts on the sailing ships back in the 6th, 17th, you know, when Baltimore was really. So this is a song about a brother and sister who leave um, that little place to go to Baltimore and seek their fortune. And the song comes out of a, a line in a Towns Van Zandt song, um, uh, Tecumseh Valley. There's a line in that song that always struck me and I always wondered, well, who... Who's, who's saying that? Is it Towns who thinks that? Is it the narrator? And it's the line in there about how the girl is works the town, you know, she's the town um, prostitute or sex work, you know, she and how she's working the town with all the lust inside her. And I always thought, well, who thinks that? You know, so then I wrote this song. It's really about her. So. From tall timbers 
came a brother and me with nothing left we so stood away we sailed out on a cold cold morning when the sky was gray tied to the wind with a penny for luck boom like goes across the bay we rolled with the hawk's heads to the cave at the bull be war we slept on hay my brother found work on a tarry deck for pretty good pay but the Baltimore streets can twist like snakes without lamp to light your way. The trees are all cut down. They pull the last one from the stars. I climbed above the black birds way up beyond words I used to see so far I used to see so far I met a man with a room where I could stay he was pale as the moon, leading me astray. The room was warm and I closed my eyes as the whiskey burned. Knew the wrong, but I felt no harm. Till the night was spent in gone. Wind in my room. I was queen for an hour. I could make the floor shake. Such was my power. My brother came to see me, but it hurt his heart. So he stayed away. Hung my hopes on a high bed post. Dreamed about. Distant day, the trees are all cut down. They pull the last one from the stars. I climbed above the black birds way up beyond words. I used to see so far. I used to see so far. The sailor ties a bowl in one fine day. Any pose you tie as he sails away. Now every morning is just like another Less to say Got a comb with a pearl been around the horn It'll be my share One fine day The trees are all cut down They pulled the last one from the Star, I climbed up the black birds way up beyond words. I used to see so far, I used to see.
Um, that was beautiful. Thanks. That's a really interesting perspective to, uh, to write from. Yeah. I, you know, I, always, I always found that line uh, interesting also. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I took it, and I, 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 for the same reason, I think, and I finally settled on the idea that that uh, that he what he meant by that was she was mustering mustering all the lust that she could for the yeah. job that she had to get through uh, the yeah 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 and uh, anyway that's that's where I, that's where I, that led me that's I think that's that's right I, actually yeah. and you know that that had never quite really occurred to me because I was I was um I knew someone uh. She, she was working this beautiful girl and she was working at a furniture store and she decided on a, she couldn't get save any money or anything. And she decided to work at a, a club, you know, an exotic dancer type club. And she, I think, you know, she was so beautiful and beauty is power. And I, and she told me that she went into it and she thought she was going to beat, beat the room. I mean, that's, she was going to win. You know, like she was going to get in there, make a ton of money, and they were all they were supposed to be doing was selling expensive bottles of champagne. Although some people were doing more, you know. But in the end, she couldn't do it. Like you can't, you can't win. It it can't. Right. You, you can't do it and not have it wreck you. So you can't be paid enough, basically. So I so so that was also that was on my mind. Right. So, yeah. Yeah, I think the more. In fact, I think the more you make, maybe uh, the more it wrecks you. That could be. That could be too. Yeah. Although I think I I've I've never done it. I, th I think it would help. Personally, no. <laughs> 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 but, but I think it would be horrible in the long run. You know. So. Right. Yeah. Well, uh, we're gonna move on. We got about ten minutes left, so I'm gonna let Greg play. One and then I, I think if we have time, I'll ask you guys to each play another one. But if not, uh, I won't play. I'll just skip my turn. I'll play I, all the time. I, I think I should skip too because my song was really long. <laughs> Maybe Greg, Al, Greg should do too. Did Did you know Al Grierson? What? How, how did I draw that straw? <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I do have a request though. Oh no! I might have to do two, Bill. What? what? Well, it's so it's that I one, one. I had one on deck. It's, it's that it's that one about this political sign on the lawn of your neighbor. Oh, I got you. That's I, a good uh, one. I like that. Well, I, <clears throat> you I was going to do this one that I just wrote. Uh, Doing both. I write a bit. I don't like them all. I throw a lot of them away. That is to say, I don't play them for other people, but. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I feel like I should be playing this one for for folks. I got a uh, I got a live stream event coming up on April thirtieth next week Thursday. Uh, I can I'm definitely going to be live on Facebook. I'm trying to get it figured out that I can be live on Facebook and YouTube simultaneously. So we'll see how that goes in the next eight days. Uh, yeah. And uh, it'll be eight o'clock Eastern time, seven o'clock Central. If nothing else, it'll be on Facebook on the uh, the Social Climate Music page. And uh, I'll play from 8 p.m. till 10 p.m. Two-hour show with an intermission. Got some stuff in the works. Got a really good request sheet. I put out the request list, and it's just about full at this point. And wow, I'm learning a lot about what my community likes about what I do. <laughs> you know, it's it's really it's it's been informative. Did you, uh, did you get any requests for Jack Rabbit? I haven't gotten a request for that yet. <laughs> Should well. I put it on the list? <laughs> <laughs> you played that song there but, uh, that you wrote with Slade. That's from your Long Way Home album, right? It is. I love that song, Long Way Home. I need to learn oh. that one. Maybe you should send yeah. me the words to it. So, uh, little, little assistance. Sure. I'd be happy to uh, facilitate any way I can, Greg. Well, I, I want to play all this this song here because it's it's new and uh, I need to get used to playing it out loud. I mean, I can do it for myself, but there's something about as soon as you try to share it with other people, it becomes more difficult. <laughs> so i got the words in front of me. I'm going to give it a go. Uh, it, it's currently called Take. 
I'm open to suggestions for a better title. Take a look at your world. Take a look what you've done to it. Take and take and take. Something's got to give. Take it from me. Take a sec, really let it sink in. Take and take and take. Something's got to, something's got to give. Take a minute, take a walk, take advantage, take it in, take and take and take. Something's got to give. Take a look around from a thousand feet above the ground. Take and take and take. Can you see it now? Something good is coming. I just know there is, but it's taking all I got to get through days like this. When you can take it or leave it, most people are gonna take it for granted. Take and take and take. Let's take a look around. Take a look what we've done to it. Take and take and take. Something had to, something had to give. Awesome. Fresh meat. I think you still have time to do that song about uh, about the sign. Would you like me to do that one? I would. Yeah, but before you All before right, you bye. do that, I need to I need to say uh, this is brought to you by Posh Music Works, and Posh Music Works um, presents the Moccasin Creek Festival, the Summer Sundown Music Festival, the Wonder Down Music Festival. The uh, uh, No Wake Blues Festival, which is canceled for this year, but um, we also do shows throughout the year. Uh, I have, Boss Music Works has purchased this uh, subscription to StreamYard so that we can do this sort of thing. And so if you'd like to support that, it's about $500 to, uh, to get the StreamYard for the year to be able to do this. If you'd like to donate, uh, you can send the PayPal money to Snake, like a Snake at Moccasin Creek Festival. Dot com, and uh, I, I appreciate it. And if, and if you don't have the money, you don't want to do it. That's fine too. You're is welcome it, to watch. You're our guest. Is that like a PayPal address or something? Snake. Yeah, yeah. PayPal. Just PayPal to, to Snake at MoccasinCreekFestival dot com. I didn't put together a fancy URL or anything just for this special event. But yeah. But uh, yeah, just go to PayPal and say send money to Snake at Moccasin Creek Festival, and then send us ten bucks or twenty bucks or something. That'd be great. If not, totally cool. Uh, seriously. And with that, we'll get back to Greg. Yeah, thank you. I want to say thank you to Mary Badiata. Thank you. We appreciate you. It was so fun. Thanks. Thank you to Greg Klima, both from Arlington, one from Virginia, one from Boston, or from, uh, sorry, Massachusetts. And Arlington I'm here in Essex. That's so fun. <laughs> Very cool. All right. Well, I will, I will uh, see you after this song. We're going to move on to the next hour. We have Ian Leaf. We have John Langford. I don't know if you know who John Langford is, but he's a special treat, man. Dude. So, uh, yeah, he's a he's a real he's a pop star, man. Oh yeah. Uh, and and then 
we have Dana Anderson, who's also fantastic. Uh, not a well-known name outside of the Effingham area, but really, really great. And uh, Moccasin Creek Festival artist. We have Heather Stika, uh, who I've heard of and heard great things. And we have uh, we have another guy named Anderson, and I, Brian Anderson. I, and I've never heard him, but I've heard great things. So stay tuned. Uh, one more song, Greg Klima. Uh, by request for Mary. Yeah. This one's called The Root, R-O-O-T, The Root, and it's a waltz, in case anybody wants to dance in three, four times tonight. There's a guy on my street, has a sign in the street, and the sign says Trump. Paul Bunyan and me wants to chop that tree down to a stump. The Donald Trump in me wants to hate that guy who I don't even know. The Jesus in me wants to love everybody and let this one go if you want to get to the root of something you can't chop it down you have to dig in the ground can't chop it down if you want to get to the root of something that's gonna take work you get down on your knees and put your hands in the dirt That guy on my street has a statue of Mary right there on his lawn. And each time I walk past, I think hard on the contract, all of the love in a mother's arms. The Catholic in me wants to say a prayer the agnostic in me isn't sure if he cares the jesus in me says forgive him he don't have a clue if you want to get to the root of something can't chop it down. You have to dig in the ground. You can't chop it down. If you want to get to the root of something, you might have to risk. Put your hand in the dirt. You get down on your knees. Thank you for playing that. Really good song. You're welcome. Wonderful. It was wonderful to spend an hour with you, with you friends. Uh, thank you so much for sharing your talent and time. Yeah, thank you. Can you Thanks hear me? You're doing so many good things, Poss. Yeah. Keep oh, up man. Work, just, yeah. Oh, thank okay. you very much. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> it was really nice.
All right, well, stick around. We got another one more hour of great music coming right up right now. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Bye. What? No. Oh, I just want to turn the water. You were. I'm waiting for my process here. I got Ian Lee coming on right now, folks. Where are you? Boom. Boom. How are you, Bill? Okay. I'm good, Ian. How are you? Oh, I'm great. Great, 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 great. Adapting. We were we were, we were operating. It was we were operating without without headphones in the last set. I could hear the slap back, but I didn't know where it was coming from. Maybe me, I don't know. But uh, yeah. we both have headphones in now, so yeah. it should be good. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. It's all the, it's all a learning process. We're all musicians used to one way. Now we got to learn to this live stream way of life, which I guess we could have been doing for a while. So where, where are you calling from? I live in Berwyn, which is just outside of Chicago. But uh, I grew up. Oh in yeah, I used to I used to play there. Go ahead. I used to, I used to play there at uh, Bill at uh, uh, Bill's place. What's it called? Fitzgerald's. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but several times. It's still but, there. Uh, yeah, it's been a little bit. Bill and Bill and Kate just sold yeah. the place. Um, but the uh, who bought it? the new owner, his name is Will, and he's a really good guy, and he's keeping he's keeping it Fitzgerald. He's keeping the whole vibe. You know, it's an unfortunate that he that he took over right before this took over. You know, yeah, but right uh, on. Yeah, he, exactly. He's uh, he's loving the place, and uh, he's even been uh, putting on these events where uh, our guest tonight, John Langford, gets in the back of a truck and drives around the neighborhood and stops at houses that request uh, a concert right there. So people don't have to leave their homes. That's great, and uh, that's yeah, wonderful. Every every Saturday, there's been a different performer going around. Kathy Richardson did one, and uh, Phil Ann Guy is going to do one. Uh, cool. Dag, Dag Julian. Hey, hey, yeah. I want you to play a song, but but will you tell us who's going to be on your on your hour before you play, so we can. So uh, tonight we have Heather Steika, a good friend of mine uh, from Chicago. Dana Anderson. Steika. I said it wrong twice. Okay, <laughs> that's all right. Uh, I said Sticka because I have a friend who has last names pronounced like that. And Dana Anderson, he's a friend of mine. We go way back to uh, Pee Wee Soccer, you know, the 80s. Oh. We, yeah, we grew up together in Granite City. Uh, I got our good buddy John Lang for joining. And then Ryan Joseph Anderson, another talented Anderson. There's a lot of talented Andersons, if you haven't noticed. Edward David. I was interviewing yeah. Edward David Anderson today, and he told me how great Ryan Anderson was. I was like, I've never heard of him, but I can't wait to hear him now. Oh yeah, there's Andersons everywhere. It's the world of Andersons, but Ryan's Ryan's one of the best. Not just Anderson. So, so who's gonna? So who's gonna be next? Is it gonna be Dana or is it gonna I'm, be Heather? I'm gonna have Heather next, and then hopefully Dana. He's he's quarantined on a farm somewhere, so hopefully his Wi-Fi cooperates. He's, and then he's backstage. So oh great, and then we'll have John, and then we'll have Ryan rounding it out at the end of the day. Great. So yeah. All right. How about a song from Ian? I'll, I'll do a short one because I want to get Heather up here. So uh, thank you very much for keeping the music alive, Bill. The song's called Eggs and Bacon. Sitting in a diner waiting on my eggs and bacon. I'm thinking about all the bad decisions that I'm making. Think instead of soda that I should have ordered chocolate milk. Planning out a route on a triple A map. When I get to Tipple maybe I can take a nap. Dream about the girl said she wanted it, but never will. Waiting in a truck stop in Oklahoma looks just like anyone in Arizona. Maybe I'll call her when I get to Tacoma, maybe. Back of the menu with the coffee stain on it. These words I started writing, slowly turning to a sonnet. Dedicated to the girl, said she wanted it, but never will. Be a better solo if my band was here. I got a violin and everything. But now it's a little old me.
Waiting in a truck stop in Oklahoma Looks just like anyone in Arizona Maybe I'll call her when I get to Tacoma Maybe On the back of a menu with the coffee stain on it These words I started writing slowly turn into a sonnet Dedicated to the girl, said she wanted it but never will Oh. Little B bender. Hey, Heather, how are you? I'm good, Ian. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Look at this technology. I think that is like functioning. Like I heard you in what seemed like real time and vice versa. Pretty close, right? Yeah. It's like it's like we're hanging out, having a Hang. It's as good as it can get right now. I'm <laughs> yep. Where are you hold up? Um, I'm in my little apartment in Chicago. Um, so I am avoiding the Trader Joe's, but I went a couple days ago and it was fine. They were doing good social distancing practices. Good. Picked up some, you know. Yeah, I think we're doing all right, Chicago land. Yeah. I mean, people are are being really cautious, I think, for the most right. part. I mean, it's hard. We've been cooped up all winter. We want to get out there. Yeah. But then on the other hand, like I know people in town who have friends and family members who have caught it and are some of them are in really dangerous situations on respirators and stuff. So like yeah. it's something to no, it's, care it's about. definitely real. Yeah. I have a couple yeah. of friends with friends in the situation. Nobody yeah. personally, but you know, I have fear that it's coming. But yeah. In the meantime. Might get worse before it gets better, but in yeah. the meantime, uh, get my heads up and yeah, keep the music going, right? I mean, I've got a guitar, I've got uh, a lot of Doctor Who to watch. What more do I need? I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot of songs about change coming from our songwriters. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're all most of my friends who write a ton like haven't been writing, but we've been like thinking about writing like in this weird place where you're like okay any day now the the torrent the flood will hit you know it will it will for sure you know that i'm feeling it well let's hear a song heather okay yeah i don't know why this one popped in my head but um i was thinking about stuff that i haven't like played in one of these little online shows and stuff that I haven't played in a while and maybe stuff that's not on a record yet. So um, this is all three of those things. And it's about a lady I met in uh, on when I was on tour. I, I'll just say broadly Canada. I won't say the town because I feel like maybe people could even figure out who this woman is if, um, if they're very clever. Um, but she came to a house concert I was doing with one of those like glasses of wine that like the glass itself fits an entire bottle. And I pros, was like, pros glass. super impressed. <laughs> and then like, we all went up to her house at like various times. And she like, instead of um, like, well, she had flower vases and stuff everywhere and posters and it was beautiful. But also she had like vases filled with like, cigarettes and like candles and like she'd be like you want any like you know how about it like and they were everywhere it was like so like kind of gross and weird but also really impressive i was just like do i admire this person or do i fear that this is who i will become someday a little bit of both, a little bit of both. <laughs> you gotta hand it to him yeah so i she she struck me and i wrote her a song afterwards God, <laughs> that's so weird, the sound. I wonder if this is going to work. It will work. I'm just not hearing myself because I don't hear me through it. Well, yeah, take the headphones off. For I think that's good, though. I think okay. that's good. Okay. She's got bouquets of smokes, candles burning, our prints covering every wall. She's gone, you've gone through a vice or two, but your nails live through them all. And she leads you up the stairs to bottle blonde hair and four decades worth of fur coats in the hall. There's a thousand ways to live a life, and your nail is doing fine. You'll find few friends more generous with cigarettes and wine. 
Look her up again if you're ever passing through. And that slow dancing queen of mercy should take care of you. Uh oh. That is a bummer. We lost Heather. That was really sounding beautiful there. Maybe we can get her back later on. My goodness. Well, that's the that's the challenges of technology these days. Is uh it's not a perfect science yet. We're only a month into this, folks. So uh Heather Steika. If you're watching this, come back to us. Do we have any? Is Dana in the in the green room? Can we get the green room people? Let's give it up for Bill Poss and the Poss Music Works for putting all this uh, all this stuff together. I've been seeing he's been a busy boy putting out these uh, broadcasts almost every day. It seems like the Split Bill Show. He had uh, Robbie Folks on there a couple days ago. Yesterday he had Edward uh, Edward David Anderson. And uh, it's a great thing that he's got going down there in Effingham. Uh, I played down there with Ryan Anderson last January at the Village Wine. And that was a gig that I owe Bill Poss for. Um, and I got hip to him by Dana Anderson. And if Dana is uh, ready, we'll... Uh, We'll get it going. In the meantime, I guess I can do a, just a little song called uh, Where is Dana? Where is Dana? Bill, where's Bill? Bill, where's Dana? Got some music here to play. Someone tell them they're ready to play. Heather was playing, but her camera conked out she must have her phone's got the virus not the corona but something else we're doing the buying time rag right now we're buying some time here folks Unexpected hiccups occur sometimes on this live television. Not, you know, this isn't the worst that's happened. This is like not like an Ashley Simpson moment on the on Senate Live. This is real. Hey! Yay! All right. Welcome back. I was like, that I'm was back. I... Great. <laughs> well, that was interesting. I've uh, it it never conks out, but I think it senses when it's an important moment and it just wants to mess with you. That internet. Ghost in um, the machine, they say. I got a couple messages from people who were like, you're gone. And like, okay, thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're watching this. <laughs> Why don't you do one more song? All right. Let's um, let's go to a different one then. I'm, I'm going to just skip straight to this one because it's been on my mind. Um, some friends of mine in Toronto uh, put on this like weekly series called In Basements. Mm -hmm. um, and since they can't be in this bar basement playing songs they're putting out a regular um like compilation of songs and so this is one that i put on it and it's been kind of my little quarantine motivation song oh. to try and keep it together so maybe this will relate to you and if it does um look up in basements in isolation volume two and you can listen to it again making a note <laughs> wash your face well is that gosh this is a strange night mm -hmm. that is right mm -hmm. okay I'm fine <laughs> this never happens <laughs> wash your face Make the bed, brew some coffee, clear your head, 
Make some space. Sort the mail. Greet the day, though you fear that you'll fail. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right, even if it's not all right today. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right, even if it's not all right today. Strength is found in every wound. Step up to the plate before you're ready to. Don't hold your breath, just try to move. You're enough, whatever you do. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right, even if it's not all right today. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right, even if it's not all right today. You can feel it's time to change, but you keep saying, Not today. There's a place behind your pain that's telling you how to be okay. So wash your face, make the bed, brew some coffee, clear your hair, grow toward the light, slow as a tree, and find in time you have all that you need. It's gonna be all right, it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right, even if it's not all right today. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right, even if it's not all right today. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Thank you. That was beautiful. It's gonna be all right. Thanks, man. Wash your face. Wash your, <laughs> Wash your hands. Yeah, to be to be uh, specific to this moment. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be all right, even if your feet get dry. <laughs> Rolling with the punch. Sorry, Heather. Yeah, exactly. Thanks for bringing me back in. These things happen. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's nice. It, 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 all the hype I've been hearing about you is, is true. I love it. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's nice to digitally meet you as well <laughs> and hear you. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. All right. See you next time. Heather. All right. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from Granite City, Illinois, via the world of cruise ship entertainment. And uh, hello. Hello. <laughs> A voice in the dark. <clears throat> Boom. What's up, Dana? Hey, Dana. Hey, how's it going, Bill? I want to thank you for introducing me to Ian can you Lee. Hear me all right? Yeah, you sound good. A little lag. You're what was uh, all right? Yeah. No, this is nice. I have uh, friends in Berlin, friends in Effingham. This is good. Here we are, all in one place, even if it's on the cyber cybernets. You got a couple tunes for us, my friend. Hello. Can you hear us? Nope, you can't hear us. Hi, Hi you. Hi, Dana. Hello. I have a little want it's a little bit wonky on the incoming. Hope not much. Not much. I'm good. You, and you? You should I'm doing good. You good? Yeah. If if you can't hear me, then I say. You should play two songs right about now. Yeah. <laughs> Sing, dang it. I'm getting. I do. Uh, 
it was it's nice to see uh, you open Berwin and Bill out in Effingham, and, and I've been watching a, a friend of mine, Nathan Graham, down in Carbondale, host an open mic down there, and he played this Jim Croce song the other night, and uh, I've been wanting to learn it forever, so I I'm stealing a cover of a cover here. <laughs> yes, but here it is. Here it is. This is a Jim Croce song. If you can hear me, I'm just going to play it. <laughs> We're out of Southern Illinois, coming down home, country boy. You going to make it in the city playing guitar in the studio. Well, he had me in there now, when he met a Broadway flower. No, she took him for his money and she left him in a cheap hotel. Well, it's easy for you to see that they can't force me. Saying, how am I ever going to tell the folks to the folk back home? Tell his old mom and dad I ate a coffee leg, ain't got a cent to my name. Sleeping in a hotel doorway and the night they say it's going to rain. If you could only send me some money, I'll be back on my feet again. Send it in care of the Sunday mission, box number 10. Back in Southern Illinois, this is worrying about the boy. This boy's going on as soon as he can get the fair. Cause as soon as I got my bread, I got a pipe beside my head. You know they left me in the alley, took my money and my guitar too. <laughs> Tell them mom and dad I had a car collect, ain't got a cent to my name. Sleeping in a hotel doorway, and the night they say it's gonna rain. If you would only send me some money, I'll be back on my feet again. Send it in care of Sunday mission, box number 10. There you go. Very good. How I didn't that? know. I should probably just play another one because my uh, internet connection is terrible on the incoming. I hope you're getting this out there. So give me a thumbs up, Ian, if it's okay. Thumbs up, or you're rotating your head. <laughs> All right, well, I'm just going to do one more song here. This one's an original one. This one's called Chains. Hold you it up high, may your ways be soft and free. 
all he said was fall in love with me. Take these devil's charms and to the unfolded arms of a highway that leads anywhere but free. And if you see me coming round to the devil loose sounds, let me drag me back where I need to be. But I hope these chains finally set you free. Put the strings on me, my finally see you free. Excellent. Well, hopefully this will all catch up with you. <laughs> I feel like there's a bit of a delay. There's a bit of a delay. Thank you for having me. If you don't get this. <laughs> I think you'll get it just in a minute. But thank you all for listening. Thank you for having me, Ian. And thank you, Bill. Sorry for my poor internet connection. I know we couldn't talk at the same time, but I hope this worked out for you. Thank you. That was Dana Anderson broadcasting from the space station. You know, that's why it was late. And now, look, ladies and gentlemen... The man, the myth, the legend, the hardest working man in Chicago show business, and that's according to the Plastercasters, Mr. John Langford. I'm not sure if he knows he's on. There he is. Evening. Hello there. Good to see you again, sir. I know. I was just tuning in. Nice. I'm a professional. Because you're a professional. How are you, sure. Ian? I'm very good. Adapting to this way, right? <laughs> Keep Keeping busy? Uh, yeah, you say hardest working man, not for the last two weeks, really. So uh, two months, I mean, you know. Yeah, it's been a weird time. A lot time, of things right? cancelled and uh, should be in Valencia, Spain, making an album with the Mekons right now. So, Oh, man. This is great, though. This is second know, best like, to know, that, right? This is <laughs> <laughs> man, this has up upended everybody's life, huh? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, I'm, uh, it's kind of strange. I just, uh, I don't know. I just feel... I've kind of accepted it, and it's almost like the other life was a sort of weird dream. Yeah. And, uh, and now I'm just quite – I'd probably make a good long-term prisoner or sort of patient in a high-security mental hospital because uh, I'm quite quite happy. You know? Well, you must like your roommates then, huh? Yeah, well, <laughs> uh, I've got both two very large sons with me and my wife, so uh, – yeah, it's uh, it's 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 not it's not uh, I don't feel lonely. Right. Quite the opposite. Yeah, I can my imagine this. Uh, my cellmates are, you know, charming and demanding. I know. I can I imagine other times in my life where if this had happened, I'd probably go crazy. Yeah, you know? I don't. I don't know. I just think, you know, it's the right thing to do. You know, sure. some people won't accept that, but it's it does. You know, it. it it's it's kind of nice how most people are pulling together and seeing the greater good of the entire community. Yeah, and they're actually practicing it. But every time you know, I try to go out and do some shopping. There's at least twenty percent of the people are kind of just stupid. Yeah, running around like nothing's changed. Well, you're dealing yeah. you're dealing with this American freedom element. I was talking with some friends in London today, and they're like, they're like, what's going on over there? Why aren't people just chilling at home? Why can't they follow the, you know follow the advice? I'm like, dude. Well, I guess in some cases people are really hurting financially, but right. you know, the trouble, of, you know, one of the things I hate most is stupidity. And uh, it seems like in this country now that's a prerequisite for success and power. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> once, you know, this lifts, maybe I'll, I might be on the uh, first <laughs> space shuttle out of here. I know, right? First rocket out of town. Well, let's hear some music. Are you ready, sir? Yeah, yeah. I'll All play right. some songs. Can't wait to hear it. Um, I, wrote this, I wrote this song for Johnny Cash because um, I met him a few times when we, we did an album, a bunch of British punk rockers did an album of Johnny Cash covers back in the 80s when he was kind of like not having a very good time in his career, which was hard for us to understand. But I yeah. met him and he was very humble and very sweet and he told me that he didn't get played on the radio anymore and he'd been dropped by his record label. And it just blew my mind that Johnny Cash would have career problems. I thought he was... You know, just such a superstar. So. Yeah. This is for Johnny Cash. He was very, he was very nice and supportive to me. So. It's 
one, two, three, forever. And time stands still. When you were young, you thought you'd never reach the crown of the hill. Now what you gonna do with your money? When you're fat and full, live for next week. Live for last year. Try, but you won't hurt them. You just don't know how. The man behind the curtain, he satisfies the here and now. How you gonna plan for the future? When your latest record flops, live for next week. Live for last year. Live for next week. Live for last year. They take you to the building that you paid to build. They throw you out in the dumpster. They might as well have had you killed. I bet you wish you'd never seen these flatlands. This shrinking sink in space. Live for next week. Live for last year. It's one, two, three, forever. And no one's here to stay. Here, we got you a present from the present day. You're never gonna hide from history. But it might hide you away. Live for next week. Live for last year. Live for next week. Live for last year. Yay! Yeah, hey, buddy. I got fans. Hey, you got fans there. I got fans, yeah. All I got is my, te my teddy bears just watching me. Really? <laughs> they don't give back much. They don't give much back. No, it's just cuddles. Just... Exactly. It's the same as like when I do. <laughs> are you are you on your own, Ian? Uh, no, I've had my wife, but she's a teacher, so she's working harder than ever now. They're doing uh, this. Yeah, they're no. doing this distance learning thing. So you know, trying I feel to wake for her. those kids up out of bed with the <laughs> emails in the morning. <laughs> it's like, yeah, come on, yeah. let's do this. We're all in this together. I got, I got a see. I got a senior, and it's like you know. I say, you, are you doing classes today? He's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you helping? Are you tutoring him? He's making making sure he's doing his stuff. I feel I've done my job. <laughs> we actually formed a band because that was like the only thing we could do. So, I think I saw a little yeah, bit of a broadcast of you guys. Yeah, we've done a couple of things live from Tommy's bedroom, which have been pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty acid rock kind of nice. uh, jam session things with a lot of, a lot of delay and uh, you know. Because you're you know, not in enough bands already as it is, right? Yeah, I know, but you know, I, always... actually, actually, I did. We. I, I, we had to make a video for a new, the latest single, and of course we couldn't get together to do it. So uh, <laughs> I'll show you what we did. I've got, oh yeah. Look, I haven't gone. Look, see my bandmates. We made fantastic puppets of them, and that is here's John Samansky look playing the guitar. Oh, Ooh. look at that! Look That's at him! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Woo! And there's uh, John Moore stoically in the background. Look. He's, Going back and forwards. At the mariachi Joe Camarillo, one. the greatest drummers that ever lived. Can you see him? Oh, yes. Little Skull Orchard's snare drum. Oh, okay. Flying Alan, Alan Downey, flying by. Bass Be player. Beautiful. And, of course, Jean Cook with her. So this is our sneak Sorry, peek at the upcoming like, video? So I'm not lonely at all. No. <laughs> I've got my <laughs> friends all here. That was a preview. That was a preview. You should see what we're going to do later. So let me ask you, how did the... Oh, uh, have a tiny drink. What? <laughs> how did the... Uh, 
No. It's, uh, how did the Fitzgerald's drive around gig go? Uh, that was that was fine. I was the main the only thing I was worried about. It was gonna, you know, not that I think that people are gonna flock out in their millions to come and see me, but I was a bit worried. It was a bit. We might be being thought of being irresponsible because people would kind of gather around the truck or. But people were really cool. People stayed on their porches. They kept their distance from each other. It was really, really nice. It was like a really lovely connection with the community. And I yeah. think it's that Fitzgeralds, you know, they just had a kind of change of hands there. And Will Duncan's taken over from the Fitzgeralds. And he's keeping the name. He's kept all the staff. And then like two weeks after the, the thing was getting going, then they have to shut down. So it's really hard for him. And I'm glad, you know, his, that was his wife's idea, actually. Yeah, it's great. So take ice, she's like, "Why don't you take an ice cream van around the neighborhood with music?" And then I like Will. I like Will. Yeah, he's, he's great. And then he he drove, and then Donnie went around on his bike filming it. Yeah, and it was you know I was the guinea pig because it was the first time, but it was you know there were these kind of weird drives through the empty streets of of Berwyn and Oak Park between the kind of places we were set up, and it wasn't announced where we were going to be. We just turn up outside someone's house someone's house had requested it but then on the bits in between it was still being live streamed so rather than just like sit there picking my nose i you know <laughs> i got to play some other weird stuff that <laughs> i don't really normally play so it was that's, great it was, it was a, an amazing thing doug julian did one last yeah. weekend kathy i think kathy richardson did the last one so they're yeah. going to keep it going i'll yeah. definitely do another one it was it was really fun and they raised a lot of money for the staff and that's the one thing that a lot of people in this country, you know, it's the greatest country in the world, richest country in the world. And it's, you know, most of the population, uh, population are living paycheck to paycheck yeah. and have no resources and have to work two or three jobs just to keep. Yeah. You know, We're just one month system, away from this ruin. Some running. Yeah. How good and can maybe that if there's one thing the coronavirus mm -hmm. has done, it's shone a light on just how crap this system is. Yeah. It doesn't work. It's showing all our cracks right now, so yeah, yeah. We need to fix them. Well, you got another Did song. Want, oh, go ahead. We said you wanted a John Prine song, so I actually, I, we would love to hear a John Prine song. Yeah, yeah. We're, you know, it was sort of going to be a I John mean, Prine tribute. For me, that it was like when he died. That it was suddenly like it was very real. That made it very real. Had you ever met John Prine? I never met him in person. Uh, I've seen him, seen him play. I never met him to speak to him, but I, I mean. That first album, you know, one I've had that for a while, and I. Yeah. The interesting thing about the first album is that my son used to go when he was about ten or eleven. He went to hippie camp, and they sang all these songs, like you know, out in the out in the woods in Michigan. They go to sing all these songs, and he he came back and one day he was at my painting studio, and I put that album. Just, Dad, you've got all these songs that we used to sing, and they used to sing a bunch of the songs from. They taught them to the kids, but the kids just sang them, and they didn't realize it was written by a certain person. He just thought they were timeless folk songs that have just been around forever and i said that's john prine these were all recorded in 1971 and he was a a postman in maywood you know yeah it's pretty brilliant i'll try this one but i've tried it before a couple of times it's not very good my version of it and i'm really bored with seeing people doing cover versions on the <laughs> internet so but <laughs> away we, we go you asked for it man yes, we did When I was a child and my family would travel down to West Kentucky where my parents were born. There's a backwards old town that's often remembered so many times that my memories are worn. Daddy, won't you take me back to Muhlenberg County down by the Green River where paradise lay? I'm sorry, my son, you're too late in asking Mr. Peabody's coal train has hauled it away. Sometimes we travel right down the Green River to the abandoned old prison down by Adri Hill, where the air smell like snakes and we shoot with our pistols, but empty pop bottles was all we And Daddy, won't you take me back to Muhlenberg County, down by the Green River, where paradise lay? I'm sorry, my son, but you're too 
lady asking Mr. Peabody's cold train has hauled it away. Then the coal company came with the world's largest shovel and they tortured the timber and they stripped all the land. Well, they dug for their coal till the land was forsaken and they rode it all down as the progress of man. Daddy, won't you take me back to Muhlenberg County down by the Green River where pirates lay? Well, I'm sorry, my son, but you're too late in asking. Mr. Peabody's coal train has hauled it away. When I die, I'll let my ashes float down the Green River. Let my soul roll on up to the Rochester Dam. I'll be halfway to heaven with paradise waiting, just five miles away from wherever I am. Daddy, won't you take me back to Muhlenberg County, down by the Green River, where paradise lay. Well, I'm sorry, my son, you're too late in asking. Mr. Peabody's coal train has hauled it away. The Great Paradise by John Langford. That was better than the last time I did it. Oh, yeah? When's the last time you did it? Yeah, the last time I did it, I was thinking about Mr. P. Diddy's coal train for something. <laughs> the one and only. I don't think he owns it. He doesn't own a coal company. At least he's not, too smart for that. Yeah, not yet, right? Well, John, thank you very much for joining us, sir. We'll, we'll be seeing you around the neighborhood, I'm sure, hopefully, either in the back of the truck or <laughs> hopefully on Or stage. in the friendly tap. Or the friendly tap or anywhere yeah, in Berwyn. Yeah. I can't wait to get back in a pub. I know, right? Can't, that's going to be busy all over town. It's, I think it's going to be St. Patrick's Day observed whenever we finally open up. Exactly. Hey, Bill. Cheers. Hey, John. I, I don't know if you recall, but the last Thank time we much. met was on the, the, the Tin Can Caravan in 2012 uh, with the Fred Eagle Smith Travel and Steam Show. All right. Yeah, yeah. I was the, I was the I MC. Could, I, had a, I had a good day with Fred. We went, we went out early in the morning. We went out to the... Uh, the uh, burger restaurant to fill up his truck with uh, disgusting smelling fat that they've been cooking the fries in. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, we did. Show me how he fueled his truck. Oh, yeah. scarred for life. There's nothing quite like that smell. <laughs> I still have that bus, by the way. I'm hungry. Oh, really? You have yeah. a bus? Yeah. Oh, my life. Fantastic. Just parked in my driveway. Hey, wow. it's good to see you. It's great to see you. Good luck with all this. Thank you. Thanks a lot. It's Thank good you, John. See you later. It's good to catch up. Well, well, well. We keep on rolling right along. Hey, neighbor. What's up, buddy? How you doing, Ryan Joseph? How are you doing? I'm great. And hey, your new song is fantastic. The video is amazing. You, you and Jen are a power couple in the world <laughs> of art and music, let me just say. Yeah, we uh, we decide. I write songs, she makes videos, and then in the process, we try not to kill each other. Hey, it works so far, right? <laughs> it works so far. She shaved my beard off because she got so mad at me. She just took a razor in my face, and it grew fast. Let me just say, because I think I, I shaved mine shortly after you did, and mine still looks like it's coming in. Yours is coming in nicely. Well, I mean, but I got some more gray. I think. No, uh, I, I that's why I'm wearing the hat. How are you doing, man? Well, this you know, is great. I know, right? I'm I'm trying to collide all my worlds together, you know. And Bill was the guy that uh, lined us up with the Village Inn gig down in Effingham last oh, year. Oh, awesome! Yeah. So and Edward David Anderson did this earlier. That's right. I, we were talking about the world of Andersons and how one day, one day, they're all going to play a gig all together. Well, you we did. did. <laughs> we did. Yes. We did it at Fitzgerald's. It was awesome. It was me, Matthew Francis Anderson. Mark, uh, Mark Anderson, and and Ed Anderson, and there's a Scott Anderson in Chicago too. That's a, that's a really good songwriter. Yeah, I don't know if you know Scott Anderson. I don't know Scott Anderson. Do you know? Then there's a Brian Anderson too, who's really good. Brian Anderson. Yeah, and then my buddy Dana, who played earlier on this show. I See? think he was broadcasting from uh, space because it was a lot of delay. <laughs> Country but, internet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's that's real. What you drinking? Are you are you on that scotch still? Uh, this is uh, this is rye. 
Oh, okay. Um, I I do not have any awesome stories about hanging out with Johnny Cash. Or you do have an awesome John Cash. Prine song uh, story, though, right? I have kind of some John Prine stories, but my favorite John Prine story, uh, aside from any of it, the best, the two, my favorite two John Prine stories are one that uh, the friend of a friend told me that after he had, I think it was probably after he got sick the first time, but in in his rider, like in his show rider, when he got done playing, he would have, they'd had to have an ice cream sundae for him backstage. And so he'd, <laughs> he'd get done and he'd go eat an ice cream sundae and somebody asked him about it. And he was like, well, I have to have some kind of vice. And then the other, <laughs> my other favorite one, they're all food related. My other favorite one was uh, when I lived in Nashville, he did an interview at the Songwriter Hall of Fame or the Country Music Hall of Fame. And the guy was asking him like, oh, what's, tell, tell me about your songwriting process. Like, what's it like? And he goes, my songwriting process now? The guy goes, yeah. He goes, well, I, you know, I sit down, I try to write a song and then I decide I would rather have a hot dog. So I go get a hot dog. And I relate to that. <laughs> <laughs> There's a song right there. Yeah. One, but one, of, one of my favorite uh, stories, uh, Ron Lazaretti tells me, I guess he read it. Uh, John Prine was being interviewed by somebody about Nashville and they said, uh, well, I, I see that your next door neighbor is like, I can't remember if it was Carrie Underwood, one of the other country singers. And they said, what do, you, what do you think about her? And he's like, well, all I know is she's got three garbage cans and I got one. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, May, that's the Maywood mail in. Right you met, you've met my buddy. You've met Sam Lewis, right? Uh, I think we've met somewhere. He, uh, he was on, he did the Kayamo, that, that cruise ship, which God, I, I can you imagine anybody doing that anymore? anymore? You used to be on the cruise ships. I was. So they did the, they did one of those cruise, cruise shows and uh, the Kayamo one and Sam was playing and they come to get Sam. Somebody comes and is like, John Prine's playing <laughs> and he wants you to, to come sing Paradise with him. So Sam's like, holy crap, John Prine knows who I am. I'm going to go sing this song with John Prine. Gets in the thing. They tell him, you're going to sing the, the, the second verse. So have the second verse ready. Do you know it? So he's on his way to the show thinking that he, you know, I got to get the second verse done. John Prine knows who I am. Gets there, is going right on, and here's his introduction. And John Prine goes, here comes my good friend, Sam Elliott. <laughs> and Sam walks out and he's like, oh, Sam, Sam Lewis. And then John Prine starts singing. And he starts the song with the second verse. Oh, it's just like, what, what do I do? But it came off, it went off without a hitch, apparently. Sam Elliott, <laughs> oh. which would have been awesome if Sam Elliott sang, Where's the John mustache? Bryant. Yeah, that would have been before she died. I was in Vales and she told me that you know they they went way back. Yeah. I, I, I met John Prine there, uh, yep. but she said that when he did his first album, he brought her in the old shop. He brought her the tapes before it was out, like after the session. This is Val Camaletti from Val, Val Cam Calabar, Yeah, from right? Val's Hallen. Very and, famous uh, record store up here. And brought her the tapes to listen to to get her opinion. On like what might be one of the greatest like debut albums of all time. <laughs> like, hey Val, what do you, what do you what think, do you think Val? Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? Keep in mind, this was a lady who, what didn't she help do... Uh, a and R for the Beatles or something? Yeah, she worked at Capitol Records and she she worked. I think she worked early she, Beatles. Right? She helped work their tour. You know, their Chicago side of their tour when they came. Yeah, she had some stories. What a loss! Oh yeah, she had she had the best stories. Yeah. Uh, well, you got some tunes for us, Mister R J A. Sure. Uh, maybe I'll I'll play the one I just put out. Is that should I play that one? Why sure. not? Smoking was fine Carried all of the way To the world that you sat Had a book in your pocket And a tattoo heart Said that loving me Was useless as a wink in the dark I know my hair's getting good Smoke's that much anymore These days Venus and Furs was your favorite song 
little boy didn't know what the words were about. So the patch on your jacket for your boyfriend's band. He was sleeping with your sister at a holiday. I know her hair's getting free. She ain't sleeping around today. Only used to dance when the music was free. Chase starless nights, burning gas. They put pictures all fade away. At least you get to hold them when you feel your age. Oh, the time changing now. Second floor apartment and a midnight grin. Dump some cocaine on the table, shove your nose straight in. Started yelling about existence and what little I knew. Next to a red check from your father that was long ago. I know your hair's getting green. Someone else keeps signing the checks these days. So love me, leave me, let me be. Hardest lessons that you learned were the ones from TV. Now you're sitting on the corner in your husband's cheek Trying to remember all the reasons that you married I know his hair's getting free Don't touch you that much anymore Only used to dance when the music was free Chase starless nights, burning gas they put pictures all fade away. At least you get to hold them when you feel your age. Oh, only time changing now. They put pictures all fade away. At least you get to hold them when you feel your age. They put pictures all fade away. Hot damn! Hey, sir. I love that. Uh, this the one of the cells that Jen did has uh, the Radiohead poster back there. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that. You, you got a good eye. You got a good oh. eye. Oh, you know me. Oh yeah. Um. Well, before we run out of time, I'd love to get another one in here. Sure. Uh, so you got a short one? Yeah. Uh, that the people can hear? A short one. Yeah. Um, great question. Do I have a short one? I sure do. <laughs> uh, hey, it doesn't have to be a short one. It could be It could be a normal one. Okay. A normal one. All right. I just want to... Hey, Salute my rye whiskey to you there, Mr. Uh, All Ryan. right. Cheers. Pleasure to Cheers. meet you. Chink. And 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 have a and share a drink. Likewise. Thanks for thanks for being being on the show. Thank I want to say thanks to Ian for hosting this hour. Yeah, this uh, is great. I, I probably won't see you again, but I, I want to say uh, it's been a it's been a lot of fun and for some great new performers and including you. This is great. Yeah. Thank well, thanks for having me and thanks, Ian. Yeah, yeah, yeah Bill. Thanks for running this thing. We've been, you've been hard, hard working on this streaming thing lately. Seen you almost every day with some awesome guests. So <laughs> it has been interesting. Uh, and I appreciate you tuning in. Tomorrow we tomorrow we have Matt Poss, 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. That's my brother. Oh, cool. Oh, great. Yeah. Thanks again. Thank you. Our illustrious producer. All the girls here dress in blue Most of them remind me you Can't help but thinking that I never heard a word you said When you would take the time Tell me a story about your mother and the whispering night she used to live in Chicago. 
she used to dance for the snow. Rode on a train like a widow in a midnight show. He wouldn't call her for nothing. She would call him her man. He'd always show up drunker than a wedding. Tell me a story about your mother and the whispering thing. He had the mouth of the sailor. Thought it looked like James Dean. Wore his hat as crooked as a fallen tree. Said his dad was a hero. Said he died in a war. Found out later he'd been fishing off the old golf shore. Would you left the blind? Tell me a story about your mother and the whispering thing. Well, they met on a Sunday. She was wearing her. Some prayers are answered, some come in the summer dress. You were born on a Friday, left as soon as he heard. Mother told you you were never gonna be like her. But you changed your mind. Told me a story about your mother and the whispering pine. Yeah, whispering pine. Yeah, whispering pine. Told me a story about your mother and the whispering pine. We used to live in Chicago. We never danced for the snow. Rode on the train like strangers in a midnight show. You said I never listen. I guess maybe that's true. Still can't remember the last words I heard from you. Somewhere between the lines. Story told me about your mother and the whispering thing. Yeah, whispering thing. Oh, whispering thing. Told me a story about your mother and the whispering thing. Bravo, my friend Ryan Joseph Anderson, and you're doing the uh, Everywhere Now Fest coming. Yeah. Up first. is that a Willie T joint? Uh, yeah, it's actually it's a friend of ours in Berlin is putting it on. Oh, cool. Um, so it's like this. It's a it's a European internet thing, but it's yeah, it's a bunch of those guys like Willie T and and that crew. So cool. It should be a lot of fun. All right, everybody, try to check in on that May first, right? May first, yeah. May first and or second. Ryan Joseph Anderson, my 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 people. Great. Thanks for having me. Thank that you. was great. I just wanted to come on and th say say thanks again. That was a great song. Oh, thanks. thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thanks. I'll catch you guys next time. Yes, sir. Ian, it's been a pleasure, man. Pleasure's all mine, Bill. Thank you very much. Thanks for letting us northerners uh Crash your party. <laughs> <laughs> we should say thanks to uh, Charlie Roth and uh, Stuart and Hillary Adamson from the Flying A's who were in the 7 o'clock hour. I had Mary Badiata and Greg Klima in the 8 o'clock hour. You had Heather Steika and um, David um, Dana Michael Anderson and John Langford and Ryan Joseph Anderson. And then, of course, yourself, Ian Lee. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Bill.
Split Bill will be live tomorrow at 3 o'clock. I have my brother, Matt Poss. Uh, we are going to talk some shit uh, at 3 o'clock. So, right. so join us. And, and, then, and then Friday, we're doing Fan Friday. So check that out, too. All right. We'll see you. Bye, guys.